Well, welcome back to another Way Nose Photos video. And we've just ticked over another year, so it's 2021, and I hope you had a wonderful new year, and you enjoyed yourself, and uh, you put that those problems of 2020 behind you. But uh, when it comes to cycling, maybe things are still not that great, because the COVID has really reached its peak at the moment, and people would be still very tentative about running events. So let's just run that intro, and let's have a bit of a theoretical discussion about what could be in store for us in 2021. Well, unfortunately, we still need to talk about COVID in 2021 because as we come just over Christmas and New Year, in a lot of the European countries and also the United States, COVID is actually at its peak at the moment. So even though we've got a vaccine on the horizon, they're all saying that it's, this is going to take some time to roll out and then there's going to be a gap between the first injection and the second injection and governments are going to be still quite tentative about allowing big events. So unfortunately this is probably going to impact cycling events and they may actually be pushed back to the second half of the year like we've had in 2020 but we'll probably find there will be a bigger ramping up in the second half of 2021. Now let's have a bit of a talk about tech bike tech in road cycling. Uh, there has been some pretty massive changes over the last five years and we've had the introduction of disc brakes and we've seen them mature and now manufacturers are pretty much ready to walk away from rim brake type technology. There is some brands that are still offering rim brakes which I'm very glad for because I actually like rim brakes but uh, the reality is that manufacturers are adopting the disc brake technology as the main technology now for the everyday cycling. When it comes to the other part of the tech which you have on brakes is the group sets. And group sets are very interesting because everyone's been biting their nails <laughs> through 2020 and wondering when Shimano is going to bring out 12 speed. Now, I believe that 2021 is going to be the year that Shimano are going to be bringing out their new 12 speed. And I actually believe that they may actually even use the free hub off their mountain bike because the technology already been developed, it's matured, and they know that that's a reliable technology. And why would you make a separate free hub for the road? It just doesn't make any sense. So I think you'll see what SRAM have done where they adopt the mountain bike technology and also bring that over to the road bike. In some ways, this is possibly pretty, pretty good because you're going to have the same technology. And if they have the same pull ratios as well, then you'll be able to mix and match your group sets and even put mountain bike gearing on your road bike if that's something that you're into. And especially with the gravel bikes now becoming more popular, that might actually be an option for many people. Now talking about gravel bikes, I think that they're going to continue to be a new type of bike that manufacturers are pushing and I think you'll see all the brands starting to bring them out. Scott is one that hasn't really adopted that yet and I think you'll probably see a bike from Scott in 2021 that'll be a new gravel bike. We also have the group sets now being made special for the gravel bike technology. We've just had the Camp Acknowledge e-car come out, which is setting the standard at the moment. It's quite a nice group set. But I actually think that this might actually be upgraded to an electronic group set in 2021 by Camp Acknowledge. I don't think on the pure road side we're going to see anything new from Camp Acknowledge. And SRAM, probably the same thing. They, they have... There, it's not really ready for an update with the retap and also their, their SRAM Force. Their, they may bring out a 12 speed with the SRAM Force. That is a possibility, but I'd probably say you won't see too much from SRAM this year. Maybe an upgrade to the mechanical system to match the electronic, but just mechanical. Tire technology. Now, we had a lot of push for manufacturers over the years with these tubeless tires. Now, it's actually, tubeless tires have been around for a long time and they've really taken a lot of time to catch on. And a lot of people still are not really liking them. But they can be a pain in the neck and I think because it's not been standardised, the, the hooks where they connect on haven't been standardised, then you have different tyres and not every tyre matches every rim and they can be a bit of a pain. So I think that with the tubeless technology, we will see that probably mature there's also these hookless, which are not really hookless, but they actually have less of a hook and they're relying more on the sealant to make that seal in the tubeless type technology. 
I don't know about these hookless rims. To me, it's just allowing another point where the tyre can blow off. I know they're trying to get the weight out of the rims because now they've gone to disc brake and they want to make the rims lighter. But uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm not one who who would like to recommend buying rims where the hook has been reduced, which is the bit that actually holds the tyre on. I'd like to see that a little bit more mature, maybe in three or four years, if people haven't had any problems with them. But anyway, I do think that that technology will be pushed because the bikes are really struggling to try and get the weight down. And we've even had the specialised EFOF. And if you're a bit of a follower of uh, Ronald Kuba, he just built one up. And uh, he's a guy who, money is not an object. He's, he's quite wealthy and uh, he puts the best stuff on his bikes. And he built it up and his bike weighed 6.9 kilos. So if you, in the old school rim brake, that, that wouldn't be, that's not anything astounding. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's just on the weight, but uh, it's not a super light bike. So the reality is the manufacturers are struggling to get the weight down on these disc bikes, even though they're calling these new disc brake EFOS, you know, an ultra lightweight. It's, it's really, it's light, but it's not, it's not ultra lightweight. And I think uh, manufacturers will try and skimp on the rim, skimp everywhere on the bike to try and keep the weight down. So I think that's what we'll see in 2021 over the next three to four years. Bike manufacturers will be trying to modify different components on the bike to get the weight down. Whilst we're talking about wheels, I'd just like to jump onto spokes because I think this is another place where manufacturers may actually try some different stuff. At the moment, they're just applying the rear spoking to the front, as I, as if you've seen in my other my, my other video, just check up here, with the spoking on the G3 and the Campagnolia, they just, they just adopt the, the rear spoking onto the front. But uh, they may actually go to a, not a single or a double, but a triple cross spoking system to try and get a bit more strength in the front spokes because they've got the disc brakes there. I might, I do predict that we may see some of that happening in the next two to three years. So that's something else we might keep an eye on if the spoking of the front wheels changes. Well, if you've been watching this long in the video, thank you very much, guys. And uh, if you like this type of tech, remember to subscribe and uh, ring that bell up there so you don't miss any more of my videos. So in conclusion, I think it's still going to be a bit of a bumpy year. 2021, at least half of it is going to be impacted by COVID, which is a shame. We may even have some problems sourcing bicycles, which has actually been another problem that we've had in 2020. And uh, even Giant has openly apologised for that. So that, that's, a bit of, that's a bit of an issue. And I made a video about that, so you can actually check that up out here as well somewhere. And yeah, I, I think that it's going to be a slow recovery rather than a sudden recovery in 2021. I think we're not going to see anything go back to normal till at least about middle of the year the Northern Hemisphere, the summer, and our winter down here in, in uh, Australia. So I don't think it's, we're going to be rushing into, you know, plain sailing just yet. I think that's going to be more 2021 to the end of the year and also into 2022. But we will still, still see a lot of tech coming out because manufacturers have been taking advantage of the bikes becoming more popular. And of course, with the demand and new products, people love to have new products and new bikes. So yeah, I think it's. I think we're going to keep seeing that that tech coming out, and especially in the gravel bike arena. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, ring that bell, and I will catch you next vid.